After our captivating visit to the River House ruins, our thirst for adventure urged us to continue down the trail, leading us to discover more hidden treasures on this amazing route. Our main destination was going to be the Kachina Panel. This is found where the Butler Wash meets the San Juan River. Typically, you could only reach it either hiking a long distance or on a boat. But we knew that there were some off-road tracks that we were willing to explore. To reach this site by 4x4 vehicle, you'll need a high clearance four-wheel drive to navigate the rugged terrain. Alternatively, if you don't have a four-wheel drive, you can embark on a round-trip hike spanning approximately 12 and a half miles. Due to this, most visitors to this panel are actually your river rats. And I mean that with love. My mom was one of those river rats back in the day. <coughs> as you travel along the road, you'll see other sites like this corral as you drive. But it's not the only thing that is unexpected on this journey. Does this remind you of something? Canab in the white. Yes, purple flowers. Yes. Well, it's a road. Legally, it's a road. It's a road. Besides all these amazing overgrown purple flowers, similar to the ones we found in Canab, Everett, with his keen eye, was able to spot some petroglyphs that weren't marked. These petroglyphs are truly an amazing find. We were not expecting to see them here. Also, what's amazing is that there's also inscriptions from pioneers on this wall as well. I'm so glad that Everett spotted them so that we could enjoy them. After taking in the first panel's wonders, we continued down the road, and we soon found out why everyone usually hiked this trail. As you get closer to the river, the new trail gets narrower and narrower, meaning it was about time to park the truck. After hiking a little ways, you'll finally find yourself at the Kachina panel. The cliffs here come to life as one large panel of figures one right after another intertwined with countless similar images of different sizes, all contributing to the ancient narrative. Some of the images are etched in deep, dark rock face, while others appear lighter, yet each one showcases an astonishing level of detail. This panel is a true gem adorned with multiple large images that have been identified as representations of various Kachina spirits, thus the name the Kachina panel. To the end of the trail, and we did a little short hike or long hike-ish to go see some petroglyphs. Um, it's kind of scratchy and narrow, so um, I don't recommend it for most people. But we're hiking back now so that we can get out of here and uh, get, hit another trail hopefully today. So we will take you along with us to show you how hard it is to get up some of these obstacles the opposite direction. Exhaust on the giant hump because you went off the hard line. Our driver, right there. Now straight. Keep going straight. Now turn driver a little. Now you can go passenger a little. You're good from there. Right. 
That was just your hitch. You bounced a little. It wasn't anything bad. In the end, whether you make this journey by foot or vehicle, the Kachina Panel's allure is undeniable. Its rich history, awe-inspiring petroglyphs, and rugged charm make it a destination that's worth worth your effort. So what's it gonna be? Are you gonna embrace the adventure and let the ancient art of the Kachina Panel be your guide? We recommend that you do. If you like adventures like these, please like, subscribe, and share with your friends, and we hope to see you out there on the trail soon. Bye for now.